for a walk. I'm so glad you suggested this. It is such a beautiful day. Do you ever wonder how God came up with all of this beauty? I do. I was going to tell that story today about how God did it. How fun! Great! So, in the beginning, uh -huh. there was darkness. Whoa! Whoa! Where'd you go? Well, it's dark. Yeah. Campbell, it's dark. where are you? It's dark. And so I can't see. Yes, that's how the earth was. It was just dark. And on the first day, God said, "Let there be light." <gasps> Whoa! Oh, and there was light. There that's you are. Better. There Ooh. you are. Ooh. And there was light. Oh my! <sighs> Isn't that nice? That was scary. And, so, and that's the that's the first day. It was day and night, and that was the end of the first day. And God said. This is so good. So on day two, there was like water everywhere, right? Wow. And God wanted to separate the waters. So he made this huge vastness that we know as the sky. The sky it is beautiful. Oh, camel, look, look at the camels. Camel. Wow. Oh, and God said. This is good. So there was just sky and water? Yes, but that takes us to day three. Okay. So God wanted some place for the oceans to go, right? Right. So he made land. And then he made sea. Ooh. And, and that's when yeah. the flowers and the trees oh. came to be. Oh. It's beautiful, it's right? Lovely. And God said. So good. How beautiful everything is. I know, yeah. but, but he's just getting started, okay? Well, he wanted to put lights in the sky. Ooh. One for the day and one for the night. Right. So that's when he made the big sun oh. and the moon. Look, Campbell. And the stars. Oh, that is the most beautiful star I've ever seen. Oh. And that's the end of the fourth day. And God said, What is it? Oh, that sun feels so good. It does, Water. doesn't it? But God wanted to put something in the air and in the sea. So that's when he made the fish and the birds. Oh, look, look at the bird. Oh. That's beautiful. I bet God loved it. God did love it. That's the end of the fifth day. And God said. So, so good. Mm. How beautiful. So beautiful. I know. Oh, my word. Well, that takes us to day six. God, wow. God saved the best for last. <gasps> you know what it was? What? Well, all of the animals. Yes, of course. Oh, aren't they cute? They're so oh, cute. Look at them. And then God made man. <gasps> People. Oh my. Well, that is a good looking man. <laughs> and that's the end of the sixth day. And God said. This is so so good. That's so much work that God did, but the, that's only six days. I thought there were seven days. There are seven days. And on the seventh day, God did so much work that he rested. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to our Annistown Kids online worship. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the beauty of creation and learning about the days of creation as much as I did today. I want to take a look at Romans 1 verse 20. It says, For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. This verse tells us that God, he created this beautiful world around us so that we can see him and his glory in everything around us. We can look at the sky and the birds and the fish and see God's divine nature and his power in everything that surrounds us. God created these things for us to enjoy and so that we can know him and know his power. We hope that you enjoyed this lesson today and we hope that you go outside and look around at things maybe a little bit differently today and just pray and thank God for his beauty and his power and his creation. Jesus loves you and so do we. Lord, I find
find you in the seeking, Lord, I find you in the doubt. And to know you is to 